Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Raven, and we are back for more of This War of Mine. Everybody is looking pretty good. We're going to have one guard up. We're going to have Pavel sleep. We're going to have Bruno sleep. We're going to have Katya on guard today. Actually, let's have Pavel guard. We'll have Katya sleep. That's fine with me. Now let's figure out where we're going to go. We can take... Oh, do we have a saw blade? No, we don't. Okay, so we're not going to go back to the church. We could go to the hotel, um, but it's pretty dangerous. We could go back to some place we've visited before, or we could go to the decrepit squat. Squat. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll take a weapon with us just in case. We'll take a crowbar just in case, and then we'll head out. So we need to find food, but we also need to... Um, Make sure that we leave with four pieces of wood at a minimum. And we'll take these with just for now in case we find more stacks. Now, from what I understand, this is like a type of homeless shelter of sorts. The homeless used to live here even before the war started. Alright, so we can take our four pieces of wood. That's very good. We can load up on sugar. We'll leave the components behind. Parts, components, I get those two mixed up. Components! That's what they are. We'll leave those behind. Let's take an extra stack of wood just in case. We're doing really good on components because we've been really aggressively trading for them. Um, ooh, something's blocking that from the other side. I guess we're going to have to find an interesting way around. Alright, I feel good about how much sugar we're finding. That's going to be useful for our moonshine operation don't see or hear anyone yet makes me wonder if this place has just been completely abandoned there's a saw blade area up top and with the frequency of saw blades appearing I keep wondering if perhaps I've underestimated how important it is to bring a saw blade with the letter says dearest Masha I found shelter among the homeless I'm no longer a teacher or an artist I am one of them now there's not much food, so some of my friends already left us, but do not be worried. I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I've finished my painting. Alright, looks like there's our first homeless homeless gal. Good evening, sir. I, you know, I'm just checking things out, seeing how it goes, how it do. I'm very hungry, could you help me? Oh man, I'm sorry, man. I don't know. I don't have any food. Perhaps you could bring some food next time. Maybe. If I need to do a good deed, I'll die in a few days. I feel you, man. I feel you. It's a hard life. All right, so we can bring back some more coffee. Ooh, we found a valuable. That's very sweet. Shell casings and those types of things I'm not as excited about. Let's go ahead and keep exploring. Someone probably painted this picture recently. There are rich looking people sitting together in a littered ruined building. Metaphor of some sort, I believe. Yeah, you could say that it's a metaphor. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep looking around. Can we get up here? Oh uh, yeah, there's the saw bladed area. Looks like there's a dead guy in there. That's loads of fun. So it looks like there's actually enough sugar lying around uh, to make another stack. So let's go ahead and make sure we didn't leave anything behind. Oh, hello again, sir. I'm sorry, I have no food. Let's make sure we didn't leave any sugar behind. We'll check out these last spots. unbarricade this. I know you're gonna die in a few days, but I, if I had food, man, I would spare you some. Please don't guilt me into, <laughs> into feeling awful just because I didn't bring any food with. That's not very nice. I just figure since there's so much extra sugar around, we should probably um... Oh, it's barred from the other... How? No, it's not. Just go on through, man. There we go. Sugar in here, perhaps? Nope, looks like we got everything. 
Alright, so we're full up. Time to run. Time to get out of Dodge. Uneventful, but, you know, still important. Now we can build our garden. Which is gonna be sweet. Alright, day 12. We've been raided. Someone tried to rob us, but we managed to fend them off. We had some weapons, not enough for everyone. No one got injured. That's good. Alright, people are hungry. Slept poorly. Bruno, sorry to hear that, man. Everybody slept poorly. Okay, so Marco, you're hungry and tired. Why don't you go lay down? Pavel. Everybody's not feeling too good. All right, there we go, the herbal garden. Now we can finally make this thing. I feel like it makes sense to put it next to the herb place. Let's go ahead and do that. People are sleepy, so let's put them to bed. Now, without any vegetables, we can't make the better amount of food. I did look up to see what the trait does for Bruno's good cook, and apparently what it does is it lowers the amount of resources required for cooking, moonshine, and herbal apparatus over here at the uh, herbal crafting station. So we'll just see. We'll have Bruno run around and try to make the best of it. But... The next priority for tomorrow is going to be food. Let's see. Fertilizer. What should I make? Fertilizer or herbs? Hmm. Okay, I see. So what is that when we upgrade? We can grow vegetables here. We need a heat lamp. Alright. So this actually ended up being not as useful as I thought it would be. Because we have to upgrade it first. And to upgrade it, we need to first upgrade our workbench so that we can make more complex things like heat lamps. And then move on from there. Alright, so tomorrow we're going to go for food. Food is going to be the important thing. If we get a trader, we'll try to trade for some veggies. Oh, and hey look, we caught some food. Cool beans. Let's go reload our trap. That only took like forever and a day. Someone's at the door. All right. Oh, it's the person who needs help. Wait a minute. So she's the one who wants a bandage. So wait, Katya, wait, wait, wait. All right, Bruno, let's see if we can go make her a bandage. You better avoid anyone who's armed. Sleeping on the floor is terrible. Why'd you sleep on the floor, man? We have beds for everybody. All right, let's make this really quick. As soon as that hits our inventory, we can go help her out. I think she's the one who was asking for a bandage. I'm okay to do a good deed. I'm okay with that. We'll reset this trap. Let's go open the door for this nice person. Hello again. Please have a heart. All right, let's see if we can't trade. All right. Hopefully this all pays off for me in the long run somehow. I mean, I know I'm being nice and I'm helping people, but it's hard. It's hard work, man. All right, Bruno, let's go set up the Moonshine Distillery of Awesome. Looks like everybody's hungry. Oh, do we seriously not have enough water? That sucks. Okay. Well. Guess that's all that we can do for now. Okay. Hungry, hungry, slept poorly. Slept poorly. Yeah, let's have Pavel guard and we'll send Marco to scavenge. Oh, shoot. I realized just now that I should have built a saw blade and I neglected to do so. Ah, oh, well. All right. Let's go... Where have we not been? We haven't been in the hotel, the construction site, or Central Square. If we go to Central Square, we don't have a whole lot to trade for food. Um, I mean, we have a couple of 
tiny items, I guess. Wartime, quality roll up. And we can take the jewelry. But it actually would make more sense to send Katya if we're gonna go bargain for food. All right, so let's do that. Let's have Marco on guard, Pavel on guard, Bruno, you go to sleep. We'll send Katya to Central Square. We'll give her, her all of our trade-worthy items. And she can pick up anything else that she can find along the way. Now, I was looking up Katya's trade ability. Basically gives her a plus 20% value on everything that she goes to trade. And of course, we can pick up some things along the way. Fill up the backpack, so to speak. Let's go see what's available. All right, seems like there's a lot of people around. Now, since she gets a plus 20% value on everything, that means that potentially we might be able to trade quite a lot. Ooh, there's the broken guitar and the broken shotgun. Let's see if we can't trade for this. Fine, we have a deal. Okay, I'm good with that. Can't carry that much. How much are we holding? Oh, let's see if we can't get rid of some other things. All right, I guess not. I'm happy to trade this one for one though. I think that's okay. Now we can build the guitar, get some tunage. Rum, whiskey, bourbon, just kidding, I've got vodka only. Okay, looks like they'll take the wood off of me. Mm. Wow, you just don't want to separate with any of this stuff. Okay. All right, who else is here to trade? Looks like we have someone who will trade for alcohol, which is interesting. I wonder if there's like some sort of trading metagame. All right, here we go, this is what I want. I want food. Primarily, I want veggies. So let's see what we can trade for this. I will trade everything I've got for some veggies. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Vegetables it is. Is there anything else of interest here? Anything else that we can scavenge perhaps? This door is locked. This must be where all of the traders live or something like that. I don't know. Did we leave anything behind? Nope, it looks like we looted everything. Can we get down here, maybe? Nope, it looks like the underpass. Hmm. Alright, well let's pick up whatever's left in this pile and we'll head out of here. What do we have left? We got vegetables. That means we can cook four pieces of food, which is good. We got some, some components and some, some wood, and we can build a guitar now. I don't think that's too bad. Katya is back. Day 13. All right, Bruno. I need you to go do some cooking. Everybody's hungry, man. Everybody. Let's see what we need to upgrade this workbench. We need more wood. Of course it's more wood. Of course that's what we need. All right. Just enough to make all that. Let's get this started to make some more water. Katya, let's get you down here too. Make some more of this. 
I know we need food. Oh, we even need wood just for the guitar. And we're starting to run low on components again. All right. Things are not looking the happiest for everybody. Marco, you go ahead and go to sleep if you're tired. Katya, I know you're tired as well, so I'll have you go to sleep as soon as you're done over there crafting up filters for the future. Pavel's also tired. Pavel, go to sleep, man. And we'll see if somebody comes to the door. Hmm. I wish they would show up at the beginning of the day. I mean, I know that the game wants you to sit here and think about how dire your situation is <laughs> every time. Uh, but occasionally, I feel like my situation entirely revolves around whether or not I can get a uh, get a trader to come by that day or not. At least the marketplace concept is kind of interesting. If we were able to produce more valuables, um, we potentially would be able to, to do some, some better things with that. Hmm. All right. Guess we'll just wait for a trader. Everybody's hungry, but I don't know. I don't know how to prioritize who to feed first. I mean, we should... It's not too good. Oh, but while I'm thinking about it, let's go make a saw blade. We should have enough to do that. And with the number of saw blade barriers I've been running into, I feel like this is kind of important. We'll go ahead, we'll make two. Because why the heck not? Doesn't look like we're getting a visitor today. It's a little disappointing. We can set this filter to go again, though. Whoa! I thought I heard a knock. All right, all rested up. Why don't you go ahead and eat, Marco? Because, you know, if you don't eat, no one will. And we'll make some moonshine. I wonder if you can upgrade the, the moonshine thing to make better quality alcohol. That would be kind of interesting if you could. I know we need food. I wonder if we could build an, if there is an option to build a second trap for small animals. Yeah, let's go ahead and make another one. I feel like the food generation on that is a little too slow for my taste. Katia, you just went out and did some hard work, so let's feed you as well. Sorry for the, sorry about it for the other guys. Y'all are gonna have to go hungry, I'm afraid. So part of me is tempted to just go out and get all the wood that we can find. But I think what we're going to do is go revisit the homeless shelter and see what's behind that saw blade area. All right. Let's go ahead and load this trap up and then we'll end the night. Yeah, like I'm going to trade canned food for raw food. That's not going to happen. Right, but I'm okay to trade fertilizer for it. It seems like we have to wait a really long time for that to happen, but I'm okay with it. All right, so looks like next, we have two options. We can either go back to the decrepit squat. Looks like we can get weapons there and that's all that's left. Or we can go back to St. Mary's Church, check out that area with the saw blade. And I think that's what we'll probably end up doing, but we're going to go ahead and tackle that challenge in the next video. So for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time on the next episode of This War of Mine.